<clears throat> so now that everybody's talking about Web3 and how it's so different from everything that's come before, there's one pressing concern that everyone seems to have. How can I make money from this thing? I mean, it seems like we've got a handle on what exists in Web2, but what's happening in Web3 right now that's gonna help your business to grow now and into the future? Well, I'm gonna answer that for you today by first talking about some of the big business opportunities that are in the Web3 space right now, and then I wanna dive deep into advertising and how that works in this new ecosystem. My name is Trent Canelli. I'm a Web3 marketing strategist, and this is the best place to learn about the metaverse, Web3, NFTs, and how to market it all. So if that sounds good to you and you're excited, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're into it, comment to let me know your favorite way that you found so far to make money in Web3. I'd love to know, and let's get started. Okay, so let's just jump in with some new business opportunities for Web3, and I wanna talk first about DAO. So a DAO is short for a Decentralized Autonomous Organization. So it might be best to think of this as kind of like a blockchain-based corporation, but also a direct democracy, it's kind of both. A DAO is programmatically creative, which means that it is created by someone to make decisions based on community input from the moment of its creation on until forever, which means that even though this person created it, they're not the head of it, there is no head, there is no CEO, there's no boss of the DAO. You're setting up those rules that the DAO goes by and then kind of unleashing it to do its work for its community members from that point forward. And those community members are collectively the boss of that organization. So if you own a voting stock share in the DAO, that's not the right term, but if you own that part of the DAO, if you have a voting coin, then you're able to make decisions along with everybody else. Now, you might not always get your way in that decision, but it's a direct democracy, so everybody gets to have input. Okay, so how can you use this community-based corporation to actually make some money? Well, the typical way is that community members make investments collectively through the DAO and make money via dividends or as a benefit of a good trade. So you can kind of think of this like a mutual fund. If they do well, you do well. And if you do poorly, they do poorly, etc. The big difference though, is that all of these decisions are made via a community directly through a voting system that is built into a program, a smart contract that was used to establish that DAO. So there is no way to get around that. You can't make a rogue decision. There is one decision for the DAO, but that isn't the only way the DAOs are used. It's not just a brokerage account. There's so many other things that can benefit from setting up a DAO. For example, a lot of decentralized social media apps, which you can learn more about in this video, are set up as DAOs that allow you to make money just from using them. So a good example is Steemit. This is kind of like a dApp version of Reddit. It's a version that you can earn just for interacting on. It's a platform for posting whatever you want in the same forum style as Reddit, but earning Steam, that's their cryptocurrency, in the making, and with all of this possibility of making real change on the platform and improving the way that the platform performs and what people get out of it just by using it in a community form. So a good example of this is a few years ago, there was a concern about stalkers on the system and a user was really calling out for a lot of, of help. They needed help to get this fixed. And so the community came together and found a way to fix that issue. So that's something that they did as a community without some CEO needing to make an approval request, okay? So DAOs are really gonna change the way that business is done online because they're making that internet more community centric and also helping people to earn more at the same time so that they're incentivizing people to want to interact in this way. Next is metaverses. So I've talked about metaverses a lot on this channel. You can check out this playlist if you want more info on metaverses. They're absolutely a way to make money via Web3 right now. In case you don't know what a metaverse is, it's an immersive 3D space where people can go to learn from one another, socialize, build businesses, and live online in a way that's never been done before. But it's important to understand that Mark Zuckerberg does not have a monopoly on metaverses just because he was the one to really get the idea popular. There are dozens of metaverses and more being added all the time. Now the question here is this, how can you make money in the metaverse? Well, there are nearly limitless opportunities. You can get a job, run a casino, sell NFTs, rent property, sell advertising space, run events. The list goes on literally forever. There are just a few questions that you need to answer before you can really start to sprint making money through metaverse spaces. And these might sound familiar if you've ever tried to sell anything to anybody basically ever, or you've watched this channel more than once. First, who is your target audience? The people on Roblox are different than those you're going to find on Decentraland, which is exactly why some companies like Gucci pushed their way onto Roblox while Decentraland was chosen by Samsung. They just found that their audience was there. 
So understanding your target audience is important because it's going to help you to figure out what they want and how they think, which is also going to help answer the second question, where are they? Now we alluded a little bit to where are they in that first question because they're kind of related, but it's really important to harp on this because again, you're not going to find somebody who's super receptive if the audience doesn't match and you're not in the right place. So you have to find something that fits your brand fits your audience and fits the right placement and start testing there. And then finally, what's the approach? So you can almost never just run up to somebody in a metaverse and start pitching to them. That's ineffective, it's off-putting, it's bad for your brand. There's just no upside to it. It's better to build in ways that get them excited to talk to you. You wanna build that inbound traffic even in a metaverse space. So that could be events or creating an amazing experience for your customers or creating a retail space inside a metaverse. Whatever is gonna to speak to the audience in the place where you find them. Third is play to earn games. So play to earn games has been a big topic online for a long time. These are games that you can play to earn cryptocurrency and then you can take that cryptocurrency and sell it for fiat currency. It's possible to make money through play to earn games by just playing the game, but there are a lot of creators who have really given this a go only to find that you aren't really making a sustainable wage by just playing play to earn games. That said, if the game is popular enough, you may be able to sell your characters, stake them or whatever. The other option is of course to create your own play to earn game. So there are a lot of these on the market right now, so it could be a bit difficult to establish yourself, but here's what you should consider if you do decide to create your own play to earn game. First, most play to earn games are buy-in. So if you look at Axie Infinity or Crypto Kitties, each of these are requiring you to create one or more characters that you then use in game. Those characters cost money or crypto to actually create, which means that you can make money on the game itself and advertise your core business, whatever that is, by just selling these Crypto Kitties or whatever your avatar is gonna be. I mean, if you go onto OpenSea right now, you're gonna see hundreds of these crypto kitties online for sale. So those are some big opportunities on Web3 for how we can be making money, but I wanna go beyond these product offers themselves and talk quickly about advertising. Because just because we're on Web3 doesn't mean that we've moved away from advertising. Really, the only thing that's happening is that the advertising game is changing, and it's changing in a way that you might have guessed, it's decentralizing. So it's decentralizing where advertising happens. I mean, right now, what are the two big app platforms out there in the world? They're Meta and Google. But they're so huge because people rely on their products like YouTube, search engines, WhatsApp, etc., for a huge portion of their day. Decentralization and Web3 are moving people away from these big companies and toward a more decentralized community-centric model. This means that people are branching out to do it on their own and taking the power of their voices with them. So anybody who wants to advertise to these groups has to figure out where they splintered off to and start advertising in that new space. Is it more challenging? Absolutely. But still, once you do find them, there's so much less risk of paying for ads that go to a group of people that are totally outside your target range, which believe me, happens all the time. So onto the advertising opportunities themselves, they're basically everywhere, but I think we should split them between metaverse and non-metaverse opportunities because metaverse opportunities are much more bleeding edge and new age, while non-metaverse opportunities are things that, while in a new setting, have really been done for years. So let's start with metaverse. These opportunities are going to be found inside of these immersive spaces, and the nature of the space itself makes capturing attention more of a challenge than it has been in the past, because people can just kind of walk past your advertisement, they can completely ignore it and just move on. It's like a physical moving past what's happening. It's not just scanning past an ad, it is actually walking past it, and you can just look away. It's not like the ad is going to be in your face forcefully. It's just not going to happen that way. So in some ways, advertising is going back to basics. We're talking about things like event marketing and billboards because this is a digital space and it feels more like a physical space. So it's that weird blending. So this past online social media isn't quite the same thing, right? In this space, you have these very physical, very realistic feelings. And it's not like just scrolling past a bunch of information on a social media page. You're getting a more blended experience, which means the gap Gathering as many avatars in one place as possible via something like event marketing can be an amazing way to build a brand and drive more sales. And if you couple that with billboards, which exist and are rentable in most metaverses, you have a direct way of advertising whatever you want people to know about in a way that feels basically new 
and very familiar at the same time. It's kind of avant-garde, but familiar. Now, when we look at non-metaverse Web3 advertising, things are suddenly gonna become much more familiar. If you go to a place like Steemit that we mentioned earlier, you can pay for ads directly through the platform. And the same is true for hundreds of other decentralized apps and decentralized social media solutions. Again, the challenge is targeting the right group, but once you find the right place, sending that right message becomes a lot easier. So there you go, there's your primer on making money with Web3. I hope that gave you some ideas to run with, but honestly, there is just so much more to go on right now. There's just a wide open field. Web3 is so much more community centric than it has been with Web2 or Web1. So I would love to know your favorite ways to make money with Web3. I'm always looking for awesome ideas, so please do let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're into it, and I will catch you in the next one.